There are unmarked cars that go around this area. They were tracking our mobile phones. You know, this is the real Spookville down here. I've had three UFO sightings myself, and they were all very real. Could this be a portal to another dimension? It could be. The Ministry of Defence don't want to make a big deal out of it. I mean, it's a bit like the men in black, you know. What have you seen? Don't talk about it. Because you have these military bases and you have crop circles nearby, that's no coincidence. The world is riddled with strange and unsolved mysteries. I've made it my life's work to investigate and crack them once and for all. Wiltshire County in the southwest of England is a hotspot for UFO sightings, crop circles, ancient monuments, and supernatural phenomena. Yes, Wiltshire. To make things stranger, there's a curious number of military bases dotted around this mystical land. Indeed, there are rumors that within Rudlow Manor, a former RAF base set up to investigate UFO sightings, lies the remains of an alien spacecraft and an alien corpse. Yes, aliens. There have been many sightings in the area of UFOs around Rudlow Manor. A lot of these bases in Corsham have a very heavy military police presence around them, so they're extremely important to the state and to the armed forces. Is there a link between Wiltshire's supernatural phenomena and its heavy military presence? Could I be able to uncover a huge government conspiracy? So I've come to Wiltshire to see if this really is the UK's answer to Area 51. Shit. The first stop of my investigation was the Barge Inn, a pub that I'd been told was the meeting point for crop circle, UFO, and energy orb aficionados. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. I was just wondering if anyone here has seen any aliens. I've, I've had a few funny experiences with the crop circles and stuff. A few weird lights at nights on the way home. So you believe in the energy of the area? <gasps> no, there's definitely loads of energy around here. There is. Uh, we do get quite a lot of tourists to come here for, for that reason. There's an American fella staying upstairs. I think he's in the garden now. OK, thank you. I'll go chat to him now. Hi, are you Darren from America? Uh, that would be me. So what brings you to this part of the world, then? My whole idea coming here is to kind of see if I could get my conscious mind to connect somehow to whatever it is that's here. I don't know if you've heard that they actually have manifested crop circles here. From the so. mind? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, so I'm going to try to manifest one myself, see what happens. The idea of my circle is to have hearts in, yeah, I love in the hearts. design, so I wanted to put hearts around the earth. So you're from California, which is a hub of UFO sightings. Do you feel that same energy in Wiltshire? I do, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, a lot of the reasons for the things that you feel around here are from the ancient people that have already been here. They've built monuments all over the place here, you know, like the White Horse yeah. and Salisbury uh, Hill. Hill. These are all signs to me that, that there is something special here that, that these people knew about. And unfortunately, they didn't write it down, you know, for us to, to read about it. Yeah, that's or, so annoying, you know, isn't it? But, yeah. you know, those folk tales do have some truth to them. What would you say if you met an alien? I always say I wear this ring, you know, just to tell them I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, if they do friends, come. fist pump. Friends. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What Darren, the man from America, had said to me about the density of ancient monuments in the area got me thinking. Could this perhaps be connected to Wiltshire's mysterious energy? I arranged to meet a UFO and crop circle enthusiast at a nearby prehistoric artificial chalk mound. So, David, you're a crop circle and UFO enthusiast. That's correct. Why does this area in particular have such a high amount of UFO and alien activity? We think that this particular area, there's some kind of electrified energies in the ley lines. What's the ley lines? They're energy lines which are invisible, but they, they, they congregate and they say that the intersections here are the most powerful in Europe. Wow. So it's much more than a coincidence then? I know people that have made crop circles in other areas and they don't experience any of the weirdness. And we think it's something which is inherent within the land and with in, inherent within where we are now. What but then you get then you get into stranger things, you're getting into interdimensional stuff. Are you a fan of strange things? Very much so. I see so many parallels between that program and the upside down and What do you think of the new series? It's great. 
Yeah, have you binge watched it all? Yeah, about two days. <laughs> cool. So here we are. What is this? It's Silbury Hill. History tells us that it took 10 years and about 750 people to make. 10 years and yeah. 750 people? So what you've got to look at there is For why that. take, yeah. No one really knows why, why it's there. Why go to that trouble and why build it here? Yeah, because it looks really boring. Could this be a portal to another dimension? Um, it, it could be. Who knows? We're wondering why the, why the military has such an interest in this area. You've, you've got bases all around here, and there's an argument that says, could it be that the people that have put these bases down are trying to harness or are aware of the... Um, Energy. Yeah. I don't think that that proliferation and the proliferation of military bases in the area is a coincidence. It's not a coincidence? I don't think so. Definitely not. I don't think so. Just as I was leaving David and the underwhelming chalk mound, I noticed a commotion going on on a nearby hill. Apparently, locals were about to re-chalk a giant chalk horse. I went to get a closer look to find out why everyone in Wiltshire was so obsessed with chalk and why the military were getting involved. Hmm, I wonder what are in those bags. Maybe it's chalk. Maybe it's alien eggs. And the army are here again. Surprise, surprise. All roads seem to lead to the military. And I'm going to take that road to the military. It was clear to me that if I was going to get to the bottom of the military connection to the area's paranormal activity, I would need to go to the secret base, dubbed the UK's Area 51, Rudlow Manor. I arranged to meet a UFO investigator and an urban explorer outside its gates. So you're a UFO investigator and you're an urban explorer? That's correct. And where are we now? Right, behind us, we've got the old RAF manor house. And this used to be where the RAF provost and security service, which is the RAF police, were headquartered. And they used to send out officers to interview UFO witnesses. Wow, this is very, 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 very interesting. So why is Rudlow Manor known as the UK's Area 51? I think this is known as the UK's Area 51 because of the UFO investigations. The fact there was a secret wing of the military sending out officers to interview witnesses, they would then deny that that existed. I mean, it's a bit like the men in black, you know, you, what have you seen, don't talk about it, and that all went on from here. Which, the, the original men in black or the new film? Because I didn't like the new film. I mean, this was prior to the men in black. There was a crash in North Wales of a UFO, allegedly something taken away uh, by the military and there are rumours of an alien body, but nothing firm on it. An alien body? They say that if they got out in 20 odd days, the whole planet would be dead from, you know, infection. You wouldn't want that sort of getting no, out. You want to incubate that. Exactly. ASAP. Yep. Next, the UFO investigator and the urban explorer took me to the entrance to Burlington Bunker. This houses a massive subterranean city originally built to enclose 4,000 government personnel and the royal family in the event of a nuclear attack. Matt says it connects to Rudlow Manor and might potentially be where the alien corpse is. Here, we had to be especially careful of the men in black. We believe there's some sort of secret cameras here, um, and there's definitely motion or vibration sensors on the doors down here because... Really? Yeah, you get picked up here so easily. But you can get through this fence, and at the bottom, there's another metal door, and if you get through there, I have been in there years ago, there are these reflective archways that sort of tell you where to go underground, okay. and then you get to a door on the other side of that door, that's the Cold War bunker where the royal family would have gone. Wow, and from an urban explorer perspective, what do you think about this? I don't like the fact it's shut. So what's that behind you? I think that's just a bird feeder, but you never know with these things. I mean, where are they hiding the cameras, the movement sensors? They all seem to know we're here. There are unmarked cars that go around this area. They were tracking our mobile phones. I've been checked out by the special branch. They've come to visit people I know, giving them fake ID cards. You know, this is the real Spookville down here. Yeah. So I spent the day investigating the energy that's around Wiltshire, the ley lines. Do you think that that also has some connection with the amount of military bases? I've seen balls of light 
in and around crop circles. Mm -hmm. I've seen military helicopters chasing these things and they go off at incredible speeds. And on one night, we even saw one of these little balls of light go up into a saucer. Wow. If there was anybody on board that saucer, the G-forces would have killed them. Wow. So is that a yes then? Absolutely. I believe Wiltshire is a high activity area. So where are we off to next? Well, we're going to take you outside the brand new a uh, place called the GOSC, the Global Operations Security Control Center. That's where they're employing children as hackers. So if you imagine they're doing that sort of stuff behind closed doors there, what else are they doing? Finding aliens? Yeah, definitely finding aliens. Matt seemed convinced that our movements were being tracked by the police. It seemed only a matter of time until they pounced, as we went deeper into Wiltshire's military heartland. So where are we? We're outside the uh, GOSCC. Oh, yeah, it says right here. Yeah, we're outside the Ministry of Defence Corsham site, which is the Global Operations Security Command Centre. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, the police are here. Wait, wait, the police are here. Mm. The, the, what are we going to do? The police are here. Oh, yeah. Um, should we just carry on? Yeah, we've got some uh, visitors here. They probably okay. want to know what we're doing. But Should, uh, we, should we just act cool? Act yeah. cool? Yeah. Hello, hi. So what is your plan for this evening then? We're filming a little documentary about underground and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and the plans. UFO investigations. We're, yeah, do, yeah, UFO right, investigations. Okay. Cool. Anyway, we're going to leave you in peace. No okay. Worries, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Cheers. Once they realised that it was me, they didn't want to make a scene. What? So they recognised you then? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they recognise you? Yeah, I reckon, yeah. This is one of the most secret places in the country, but the MOD police uh, are obviously going to report back to them now about what we've been doing. So there'll be a file on us somewhere. Does yeah. that mean there's a file on me? There will be a file on you. It's kind of annoying because I'm meant to be undercover, so... It's parked just the other side of the roundabout so they can keep an eye on us, but they're making out like they've left. So now we're off to the CCC, mm -hmm. but the police know what we're doing. They're on us, so we've got to be careful. They probably don't want us going into that bunker entrance and uh, there's cameras there and okay. we'll be watched the whole time we're walking up. Yeah, we're being watched right now, so. Yeah. <sighs> this is a very secret bunker that was paid for by black budget money from Margaret Thatcher. Oh, wait, it says we shouldn't go in, but we're just, we're just going in. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we're just going in. Uh, underground here is like Cheyenne Mountain in the States. It's a shock vibration floor with a supercomputer in it and its controllers, Trident submarines and nuclear launches of uh, missiles from those. I think, um, do you think the police are going to come? Oh, again? yeah, I'd imagine so. Right, so it says Corsham Computer Centre. What does this have to do with UFOs? This is um, an underground launch computer site, but it could be a lot more than that. Maybe this is where they do the searching for UFOs from. And from an urban explorer point of view, have you ever tried to get inside here? Obviously, this is still working and very quite active, so I don't think you get anywhere near it underground. Mm -hmm. That camera's turned now, it's pointed at us. Not directly at us, but it's pointed at us. Are the police here? Yes, the police have just arrived. Should we act yeah. surprised? Should we act cool? No, I don't. Should we just say... Yeah. Sorry. If I know what they want. Okay. Hi guys. Hi, yeah. Okay. Um, this will be closing very shortly. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're not too worried with us filming the bunker then, now? Not really much I can do. They're really, um, really nice police. Yeah, yeah, they are. Around here. Yeah. Just let you carry on. They don't want to do anything that looks a little bit too pushy because we're here and they know me. Uh, had they not known that I was here, you probably would have had a lot of a different uh, reaction. Really? Like, yeah. more aggressive? Yes. So, yeah, the fact that I'm known probably is why we're getting... It's OK, carry on. Mm. So this is just another day in life for you guys? Yeah. yeah, you know, they play their games, we play ours. Well, thank you very much. This has been very, very interesting. Just think, if the alien bodies are in this place, you're just hundreds of feet away from them. Exactly. So is Wiltshire the UK's Area 51? Can it be mere coincidence that the ancient monuments, magic energy lines, military bases, and tiny child hackers are all in Wiltshire? Does this hill have supernatural significance? Or is it just a massive, underwhelming hill? Were Matt and Richard right about the men in black chasing us, eager to hide their secret experiments with alien technology, and basements filled with extraterrestrial corpses? Or were we obviously just pissing off police because we were trespassing on government property? After analysing all the evidence, I knew I had my answer. Aliens don't exist. I'm 
stuck. I can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out of here. How do I get out? I can't get out of this crop field. 